Hey everyone, here's some big news shaking up the electric vehicle world. BYD, one of China's top EV makers, is making a bold move by entering South Korea's passenger car market in early 2025. Now, why should we care here in the US? Because this expansion could set the stage for BYD to make waves internationally, including right here and with some game-changing models. For context, BYD has been quietly laying the foundation in South Korea since 2016. They started with commercial vehicles like buses and trucks, and now they're ready to dive into the much tougher passenger car market, where brands like Tesla, Hyundai, and Kia have been calling the shots. Cho In Chul, who heads BYD's passenger car division in South Korea, says they're fully aware that Korean consumers expect high quality and value, so they've been meticulously prepping for this moment. And they're not just bringing any EVs to the table. They're rolling out models like the Addo 3, a compact SUV, and the SEAL, a midsize sedan. The Addo 3 has already passed South Korea's environmental standards, and they're just waiting on final certification for the SEAL. These vehicles are designed to take on Tesla's Model 3 and local champs like Hyundai's Ioniq 6 directly, promising quality and advanced tech without breaking the bank. BYD's timing couldn't be more interesting. As we all know, the EV market is getting incredibly competitive, and that competition is heating up in the low-cost segment. Tesla has been the go-to choice for many, but with more affordable options like BYD's, it might just get a run for its money. Price, quality, and features will be key factors, and for consumers, that means more choices and likely better deals. Of course, BYD's entry into South Korea isn't without its hurdles. Historically, South Korean consumers have been skeptical of Chinese car brands, mainly over concerns about quality and safety. But here's a twist. Tesla's success with vehicles produced at Giga Shanghai has gradually helped warm up perceptions about Chinese-made EVs in the region. And with Chinese EV imports on the rise in South Korea, BYD sees a real opportunity to capitalize on this shift. So, how is BYD planning to build trust? They're not just counting on flashy features. The company is investing in a robust local sales network and customer service infrastructure to win over hesitant buyers. They're fully aware that trust is as essential as performance for a lot of consumers when it comes to buying a car. And they're betting on a blend of affordability and quality to break through that skepticism. Now, what does this mean for us back in the States? Well, with the EV race intensifying, BYD's success in South Korea could accelerate their push into other global markets, maybe even the US, bringing new and affordable options our way. Imagine having another solid EV choice that combines quality tech with accessible pricing. That's something to get excited about. So over the coming months, we'll be watching closely as BYD stakes its claim in South Korea's passenger car market, going head to head with giants like Tesla, Hyundai, and Kia. Whether you're an EV enthusiast or just curious about what's next in the industry, BYD's expansion is worth keeping an eye on. Who knows, their arrival might even spark new trends and innovations that could change the EV game entirely. If you're as intrigued as I am about the future of EVs and want to stay updated on all the latest developments, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and join the conversation. There's a lot happening, and it's an exciting time to be following the world of electric cars. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.